define the term hydrocarbon that is 2.1 so what is a hydrocarbon so organic compound that consists of only hydrogen and carbon only hydrogen and carbon that is a hydrocarbon 2.1 and then 2.2.1 let's take a look two compounds that are un unsaturated hydrocarbons so we are looking for two unsaturated hydrocarbons so double or triple bond let's go to our table well a is butanol so that is an alcohol and then b there's a lot going on there we can't really see it right uh, maybe we need to sketch that compound but when we take a look at c we have pent one pent one y and e so we know that we have a triple bond in there so c is a unsaturated hydrocarbon for sure and then d we have an oxygen so it's not a hydrocarbon but e uh, we don't have any other space before um, except from carbon and hydrogen and we have the presence of a double bond so c and e are our hydrocarbons right i don't know maybe we have another third one but for sure c and e are hydrocarbons because only hydrogen and carbon and we have double in c and triple bonds in e between carbon atoms so that is 2.2.1 how about 2.2.2 let's go ahead and take a look two compounds that are chain isomers two compounds that are chain isomers so chain isomers same molecular formula but different chains right different chains so let's take a look at at that let's take a look at that and see if we can identify these chain isomers so then they need to be of the same homologous series for sure so a we have butan two all uh, the chain isomer should be another alcohol and the alcohol we have here is uh, butan one all and those two will be positional isomers not chain so that is wrong how about c yeah maybe it's about time we sketch c can you sketch c or not c but b instead because there's a lot going on there in b so b we have one three carbons uh three hydrogens i mean and then we have a carbon and two branches so that is something like that and then we have two carbons following each other with two hydrogens so they form part of the branch and finally the last carbon right so that is b because when it is written in this way it is quite hard for me to comprehend but now that it is written in that fashion i can easily understand what is going on okay so that is um b c is pent one uh, y and e we don't have another uh, kind here and then d let's take a look at d d we have one two three four five so that is one two three four five and then on the last carbon we have a double bond oxygen so take a look at d and take a look at h in h we have one and then two branches one two branches and then we have a carbon double bond oxygen so take a look at this we have one two three four five double bond oxygen so that is an aldehyde and then we have one two three four five double bond oxygen that is another aldehyde so d and e d and e h not e i'm sorry for that d and h are chain isomers same molecular formula but different structures or different chain like yeah different chains essentially right so there we go that is 2.2.2 and then 2.2.3 secondary alcohol it's a a secondary alcohol let's see butan so one two three four and then two all so the carbon bonded to the oxygen is bonded to one two carbons okay so that makes it secondary alcohol so the answer would be a here hmm. i don't think that one is quite difficult unless i'm missing something right um 2.3.1 write down the structural formula of the functional isomer of compound d so d is all the height like we've talked about so we have one two three four one two three four five double bond oxygen and we need the structural formula of the functional isomer so the functional isomer of aldehyde is always ketones so we just need a ketone with one two three four five with five carbons so we can have pen two ohm so 
something like this and uh, this is not our answer we just you know getting our ideas out of there so the structure of the functional isomer of compound d one two three four five a uh, double bond oxygen as soon as the carbon bonded to the oxygen is sandwiched by two other carbons then it becomes a ketone and not an aldehyde anymore so all we need to do now is just to fill out our hydrogens so let's go ahead and do that hydrogen hydrogen and there we go i don't think we're missing anything let's make sure one two three four we have four bonds there right we don't want to make a mistake with our bonds so that is fine um that is the the what the structural formula of the functional isomer of compound d 2.3.1 what about 2.3.2? Let's go ahead and take a look. General formula of the homologous series, homologous series to which compound B belongs. So compound B, uh, we sketched it here. We have single bonds all over and only carbon and hydrogen. So that is an alkene, right? Um, what are we looking for? The general formula. So Cn H2N plus Q. That is the general formula of alkane 2.3.3 structural formula of compound c uh well we already have that but let's go ahead and do that so carbon three hydrogens right second carbon two hydrogens and then third carbon two hydrogens fourth carbon two hydrogens and then the fifth carbon it has only one hydrogen what happened to the other two bonds oxygen right so there we go that is the structural formula of compound c no this is d <laughs> right this is d i'm actually doing it i'm doing the wrong thing yeah this is why it's always important to double check and uh, this is d and not c so c we have pent one y n e so let's start with pent pent we know that it is one two three four five so we have covered pent what about one y and e with a triple bond on the first carbon so um yeah that is that before we can move to the hydrogens three ethyl so we have two carbons on the second on the second carbon yeah on the third carbon we have two we have a branch and ethyl on the we have an alkyl on the third carbon so this would be pent because of the number of carbons in the longest chain right and then three ethyl because we have those two branches and then yeah that's it we just need to fill out the hydrogens um hydrogen 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 we need another one here another one here another one here and just like that i think we are done with that one right how many bonds one one two three four one two three four seems like we're good to go seems like we're good to go let's take a look at 2.4 what about 2.4 uh this is quite a long question 22 months right uh 2.4.1 let's jump to 2.4.1 are you picking name of compound e so compound e right let's take a look at compound e let's analyze that compound First things first, we need the longest carbon chain. So let's see. Let's see if this can be our longest. We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that can be our longest because our longest need to include the double bond. So it's either this is our longest or this is our longest. Let's take a look at this one. We would have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then if we go the other way five six so uh both ways they give us the same thing so i know that i have one two three four five six so that is hexane hexane and then the double bond is on which carbon um if we start numbering from this side we have one two three so on the third this side one two three so on the third so it doesn't really matter so we have hexane um three e and e and then the branch on the on which carbon one two three four on the fourth carbon so four dash 
e sine x and 3 in um yeah that is what we have compound i pick name of compound c of compound e i mean uh, but what about compound what about compound g what about compound g g hello alkane right um let's see if this can be our longest carbon chain so one two three four five if we go up we have five six so it seems like the way it's up here it seems like we need to go up so we are going up we have six carbons on our longest chain so we have how does the name of hello our kings end it ends like hexane so um we have hexane if we have six carbons and then the branches um we need to decide which side which side to actually start numbering from if we start numbering from the left we're gonna have these two branches here and then from the right we're gonna have these two seems like we need to start from the left okay because if we start numbering from the left um we're gonna have with, we need to start our name with chloro because it comes before methane so from the left we would have two point so this is one two three four five two point five dash di chloro and then dash two point four dash dimethyl hexane dimethyl hexane so that is if we start numbering from the left and let's take a look at this total 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 6 is 13 so we have 13 when we start numbering from the left if we start numbering from the right <coughs> would have 2 point so 2 for chloride right? so 2 3 4 5 2.5 di chloro let's take a look at the methyl and then the methyls would be on 3.5 and we know that 3 plus 5 is greater than 2 plus 4 so we need to start numbering from the left so that is the IUPAC name what about 2.4.3 you guys let's take a look at 2.4.3 IUPAC name of compound H well can you name compound h for me in the comments can you put the name of compound h in the comments for me please it's right in front of you name compound h and put it in the comments there and let's see if you understand what is going on here you get the question right compound b undergoes complete combustion using molecular formula write down the balanced equation for this reaction compound b um we we sketched compound b here how many carbons we have one two three four five six seven so we have um 2.5 yes 2.5 we have c7 h7 multiplied by 2 is 14 plus 2 is 16 so right um that is what we have there and then it's combustion so plus o2 to give us co2 plus h2o we need to balance we have one carbon on the left oh not one but seven on the left and one on the right so to balance we need to um we need to place seven here we need to place seven and then let's move to hydrogen here we have 16 here we have 2 so we need to place 8 so plus 8 um the hydrogens are balanced and oxygen we have 2 here and then on the other side 2 multiplied by 7 is 14 plus 8 multiplied by 1 is 8 so this is 22 so 22 divided by 2 is 11 so if we put 11 there then we have 22 on both sides there we go tell me which video do you want me to do next